From Universal Studios Florida, it's WMAC Masters. Now entering the World Martial Arts Council Arena, Richard Brandon, Key Sumo, Yin Yang Man, Martial Arts Discipline, Ushu. of the day. He and Nguyen, Tsunami, takes on Richard Brandon, Yin Yang Man at the Ghost Town Battle Zone, today on WMAC Masters. They're the world's greatest martial artists, competing for the ultimate prize. Olympus, the machine, superstar, red dragon, great wolf, tiger claw, panther, Tsunami, Star Wars, Turbo. Their quest, reach full Dragon Belt, then go for the Dragon Star itself. The World Martial Arts Council presents WMAC Masters. Hello everyone and welcome to WMAC Masters. I'm Shannon Lee. After all the excitement of last week's male and female Dragon Star Championships, it's great to get back to ordinary competition, if you can call anything these incredible athletes do ordinary. There will be two preliminary matches today, and of course, the finals in the Battle Dome. Let's start off by heading directly outside the WMAC Arena for our first contest between Tsunami and Yin Yang Man. Last time we saw Richard Brandon, he was knocked into the water by Kid Carmichael in the kid's very first match. Yin Yang Man. Dragon Belt status, five, belt two. The crowd is watching the match take place live, right outside the arena at the Ghost Town Battle Zone. Tsunami, Dragon Belt status, three. Ninja, begin. Here we go, everybody. The council is scoring the match from inside the arena. Watch the power bars to see who's in the lead. Yin Yang Man's on the left, Tsunami's on the right. kick puts him way in the lead. Whoever's power bar is drained first loses. Yin Yang Man better start a comeback now. Oh, 
That's against the rules. Winner, Tsunami. Subject to Council Review. Yin Yang Man's power bar drained just as Tsunami hit him with the wheel, a clear violation. But what's unclear is whether the Council will let Tsunami's victory stand or disqualify him from today's competition. Asha! 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 You must be kidding. Tsunami cheated, there's no way he's fighting in the dome, and the Council's gonna disqualify him. Eh. Yin Yang's power bar was already drained. Fight was over. Benito. No way. It's not over until the last hit, and the last hit was bogus. Yeah? Well, bogus or not? Tsunami was winning by a country mile. Then why'd he do it? Now, that's the real question. No, the real question is, why didn't see it coming? The crowd here at the WMAC Arena is still shocked by Tsunami's inappropriate and possibly illegal action at the end of his match with Yin Yang Man. Word from the officials is that Richard Brandon is okay, and if the council takes no action against Hien Nguyen, he'll head for the Battle Dome to face the winner of our next match, a match that's about to begin. Now entering the World Martial Arts Council Arena, Willie Johnson. Key symbol, the BAM! Martial Arts Discipline, Wushu. the day takes place at Doom City. It's Warlock versus the Bam. The winner will take on Tsunami. It, it looks, looks like, like the council, council will allow his, his victory, victory to stand. What do you think you were doing? They haven't issued Nothing. It wasn't personal. Just playing stupid, huh? You don't deserve the win. I just got caught up in the heat of the moment, all right, man? Hey, hey, it's cool. It's cool. Did you apologize to you? Yeah. You all right? I'll live. You blindsided you, right? Yeah, something like that. Like our first match, this will be a showdown between Wushu and Kung Fu, Larry Lamb's discipline. Warlock, Dragon Bell, Status 4. The Bam, Dragon Bell, Status 5. Doom City Ninjas, begin. The rules are the same as our first match. The ninjas, all trainees from the WMAC Academy, will test the athlete's abilities. The council is scoring the competitors for overall technique, clean hits, and defensive ability. Get hit or be sloppy, and the power bar goes down. having a tough time with the ninjas. Warlock's power bar is already way down. Winner, the, the ninjas put up a great fight. 
fight, but the BAM holds on for a win over Warlock. Willie Johnson has a definite advantage going into the Battle Dome against Tsunami. Most of the crowd will be rooting for the BAM. It seems Tsunami doesn't have many fans in the arena today due to his cheap shot against Richard Brandon. We'll be back with the finals right after this. You know, I never really realized how much Richard favored that left side. I think it's all because he can't set up his right eye. You know what? That would definitely explain why I didn't see you on Tsunami's cheap shot now, wouldn't it? Yes, it certainly would. I'm half blind, not deaf, guys. In fact, since my accident, my hearing's twice as good. Accident? What accident? You see, I've been practicing martial arts ever since I was a kid. By the time I was seven, I was competing in tournaments all over the country. Some kids wanted to grow up to be doctors, or baseball players, or astronauts. I just wanted to be a martial artist. I enjoyed the martial arts more than anything. I practiced all the time. And I won just about every competition I entered. My parents were very proud of me. I felt like I was on the road to success. Little did I know, my dreams were about to come crashing down. The other driver ran a red light. He was drunk. And my dad didn't make me wear a seatbelt. Two wrongs didn't make a right. I lost the sight in one of my eyes. But even worse, I lost my confidence. I asked the doctor, if I would still be able to practice martial arts. He said yes, but things might be harder. I was scared, too scared to ever try the martial arts again. Other kids made fun of me and my eye patch. I learned a new word. People said I was handicapped. It made me feel different. I didn't feel a part of things, especially now that the martial arts were out of my life. I decided that if I couldn't be a martial artist, I'd be another kind of artist. I drew pictures. I was good at it. And as I got older, I sold some artwork to help pay my way through college. One day, I went to watch some martial art exhibitions at a big tournament in town. Nice drawing. Thanks. You a martial artist? Uh, I used to be, but not now because of this. Don't think of it as a handicap. Think of it as a challenge you can overcome. Yeah, sounds good, but easier said than done. Randy, Randy Vaughn, Vaughn, report to center, center stage. Randy, Randy Vaughn. Vaughn. What I saw in the next few moments changed my entire life. Amazing. A great martial artist who didn't let his physical challenge stop him from pursuing his dream. I decided then and there to return to the martial arts and make up for all the time I lost feeling sorry for myself. It felt good to return to my practicing, but even better knowing that I wasn't going to let my eye problem hold me back anymore. Now I knew. I didn't have a handicap. It was just a challenge. A challenge that I could overcome.
took me a while, but I became better than ever. And now I do special programs with the physically and the mentally challenged people to inspire them the way the guy in the wheelchair inspired me. Oh man, we had no idea. And all this time you compete against all of us with that handicap. Handicap, no. Challenge. That's right. Attention, Richard Brandon. Report to the council chambers immediately. Richard Brandon. Report to the council chambers immediately. Johnson's raring to go in the battle dome, but so far, Tsunami's a no-show. If he doesn't make it out into the arena before the dome hits the ground, the BAM will automatically win. Time's running out for Tsunami. Disqualification. Tsunami. Winner, match one, Yin Yang Man. The council decides at the last minute to penalize Tsunami for his illegal hit against Richard Brandon. With Tsunami disqualified, Yin Yang Man advances to the Battle Dome Finals. All right, chalk one up for justice. Not bad. Man, Richard is so pumped. I would not want to be Willie right now. Yeah, Bam's Ying is about to be Yanged. So how about it, man? You cool with the council's decision? They were right. I lost control. I learned my lesson. Yeah? And what's that? Don't break the rules. But if I ever decide to, not saying that this will ever happen again, but if I decide to hit Richard, not saying that I would, I would aim for his good eye instead. Oh, hey, 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 guys, I'm doing kidding, man! Battle Dome Finals Willie Johnson, The Bam, Richard Brandon, Yin Yang Man. The object of the Battle Dome is to force your opponent into the frame of the cage more times than you hit it yourself. At the end of two minutes, whoever has the highest score wins. Ninja. The ninjas have been ordered in to make things even more difficult. If they force an athlete against the dome, his opponent gets the point. One, zero. When time runs out, we'll go into sudden death. Ninjas leave the dome. Just minutes ago, he was informed he was fighting in the dome, and now Yin Yang Man adds a key symbol to his dragon belt. It was a tough match. Wushu versus Wushu. The athletes were dead even with just seconds left in the fight, but Richard broke the tie with a powerful sidekick just as time ran out. By order of the World Martial Arts Council, the key symbol of the BAM. Willie Johnson shall now be added to the Dragon Belt of today's winner, Richard Brandon, 
Yin Yang Man. Here now, the ceremony of the Dragon Belt. A big win for Yin Yang Man. I just found out that Richard Brandon has been wearing a patch like that for most of his life. Yin Yang Man is actually blind in one eye and has been that way since he was a little boy. Well, my father, Bruce Lee, always taught that you should overcome your weaknesses and develop your strengths. I'd like to personally salute Richard Brandon for setting a great example and doing just that. For the World Martial Arts Council, I'm Shannon Lee. See you next time on WMAC Masters. Filmed at Universal Studios Florida, where you can ride the movies.